Hey guys, Wyatt Joswowski here from DripApps.com, and in this video series, we're gonna be covering how to generate local client SEO leads. The number one problem that people struggle with, actually generating leads of local businesses that they can then sell and turn into clients. So I wanna show you guys three of my favorite effective ways to generate leads, and we're gonna break them down over three different videos, one method per video. So this video is going to act as part one, and I'm gonna dig right in by showing you one of my favorite methods to generate local client SEO leads. So for this method, we're gonna be using an SEO auditor tool. Now, I like to use my site auditor. I'll leave a link below this video, dripapps.com slash audit. It will take you here, and it is very, very effective. So you're gonna need to sign up to the, uh, the pro plan if you wanna be able to use their form builder, which is what we're gonna be using uh, for this method. Now, it may seem a little pricey, but trust me, it will be worth it if you use it the right way. I think it's about $79 a month. So what we're gonna be doing is generating here a form that we can put on our website. And basically, let me show you an example here. It's gonna look a little bit something like this. So it's gonna ask you know, to enter a URL and then it's also going to ask for their email and their phone number, whatever you know bits of information that you want to collect. And then what it's going to do is audit their website. It's going to perform an SEO audit. It's also going to ask them to enter a keyword. And basically, uh, it's going to run through and generate a PDF showing exactly what's wrong with their site. It's going to basically give them a score, a grade on their website show them what they need to change in order to get better results in the search engines. So what's really cool about this is you're basically showcasing the problem, right? They have their website, their local business site, and it's gonna highlight all these problems. And they're not gonna know how to solve them themselves. So that's where you come in, to solve those problems. So this is a really good way to generate a lead and then showcase the problem before you even ever contact them. Now, you're probably sitting there thinking, yeah, this is great, but how am I gonna get people to fill out this form? Well, that's where the other part of the method comes in. So the first thing you wanna do is build a form. Now, I recommend going for the large one right here, which apparently is also recommended by my site auditor. And the reason why is because we want it to be very big and upfront at the top of your site. You could even do it with just a landing page. But I'm going to go ahead and assume that most of you have a local style um, you know, agency website, whatever you're using currently for your client SEO business. If you don't have one, don't worry. You could just use a simple landing page. You could take this form and embed it on a ClickFunnels page or probably a lead pages, um, style page, or optimized press. It doesn't really matter. All they're gonna do is basically give you an embed code. You can put this on any page. Now, even if you're doing it on your website, you wanna make it seem like a landing page. You wanna make it so that there are not a lot of ways that you can lose your audience. That's gonna allow you to increase your conversion rate. Basically, what we're gonna be doing is sending people from Facebook. We're gonna be using Facebook ads, and we're gonna target local businesses in a very specific area, 25 mile radius, and we're gonna get them to come to our landing page, which is either on our site or just a standalone landing page, where they can get an SEO audit. So we're gonna be, be basically generating and qualifying leads with this tool. So basically, let's go ahead and uh, create a quick form here. <clears throat> this color is a little ugly, let's try to change it up a little bit. Perfect similar to the drip apps color. Well, there we go. All right, so we can show the name field. Of course, we wanna do that. Let's show the phone field as well. The more information we get, the better. If you wanna do just email, that's fine. Um, so we'll go English. So you can either show the finished audit immediately or you can follow up with them after and you can basically say a brief message like we'll email it to you shortly or something like that. Which, whatever you wanna do is fine. Um, I would probably go with following up after, that way they're expecting an email from you. You can also do an auto reply with the PDF and you can basically send them some kind of message, right? Like, um, you know, thank you for filling out the form, here's your SEO audit, 
Um, I'm going to give you a call in the next one to two days to discuss how you can uh, improve your website and improve your SEO results, right? Something like that. Let them know what's coming. So what we're going to do is basically copy this form. And let me go ahead and jump over to, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video where I log into ClickFunnels. All right, so ClickFunnels was loading a little slow. We're going to try to make this work here. So basically I have a, an opt-in page pulled up here. And uh, if you're not familiar with ClickFunnels, you don't have to use it. You could use lead pages. You could use your own website. You know, you could have a programmer put it on there. But it's, it's going to be really, really simple. All we're going to do is come in here, and I'm going to create a one-column block. We're going to add um, some HTML, whatever that may be. And we're basically going to come in here and paste it. Boom. So hopefully that works. Let's see. Uh, so let's try it. Yeah, so it took a second to load. But basically, here's our form, right? So it's it's gonna be super clean, super simple. I mean, this looks pretty good, honestly. I even like it on that wood background. Um, so we could put like a headline up here, and you know, we have our SEO score year. You can change this text completely in my site auditor. And you know, they put in here their website, their keyword, or one of their main keywords. They can even put in a competitor URL if they want to. And they put their name, email, phone, and they click scan. And it'll go ahead and scan. So you can put more information, but you, you can keep this landing page super, super simple. Right? So all we're gonna do then is take this page, whatever it may be, right? This is just a preview. We can take our you know our final URL right here. And you know, you create a simple thank you page or whatever, like you know, thank you, we'll be in touch, or something like that. You don't have to complicate this, right? You can make it very, very simple. Something like this, where it just says thank you. Uh, you know, follow us on Twitter or something, right? Um, so that's fine. And you can even set the thank you page in. Um, if you want to do it immediately, you could just have the form show it right then and there. So what we're going to do then is jump over to our business manager. I'm going to go ahead and do it in Demio here. And we go into our ad account on Facebook. And we're gonna go create a new ad. And I'm just gonna kind of run through this process really quick. So you could do it uh, for conversions, and that would be the best. But to save time here, I'm gonna go ahead and just send people to my website. And we're gonna go ahead and paste that in. Let's grab that again. I guess I don't have the URL. Basically, we would grab um, the ClickFunnels URL. So I'll just say, lander.com so you're sending them to your landing page basically I don't know if it's gonna work okay <clears throat> perfect so what you want to do is start out let's go ahead and do a different audience here and the first thing I'm gonna do is come down here and set the budget you want to start it with a really low budget All right so let's start it at five dollars a day and we're going to come up here and try to do, you know, location. So first off, you know, we're going to go ahead and cancel these because we want to do a very targeted area. All right. So I might do Tampa, Florida, for example. And we'll put in a 25 mile radius. So that's perfect right there. All right. So that's going to be. Let's go ahead and, you know, our age range probably going to be, I don't know, let's say 20 to uh, 65. Well, we can lower that a little bit, maybe 20 to 60. And we can go ahead and remove these interests. <clears throat> so, uh, and that was just from a saved audience, by the way. So basically, we're going to come down here and we can get very, very detailed with the targeting, right? So let's also add here. So let's go ahead and browse uh, some demographics. So we can come in here and say work. Uh, job title and then we can come in here and if we want to target like you know CEO for example we could do that now we just lowered it to 5,900 people um, you know we could target people who are who are interested in you know maybe a certain industry uh, but demographics are probably going to be your best bet so we might say people who are interested in SEO 
that's probably not good. <laughs> Let's see if there's a bigger. Yeah, so 20 million. And then we might want to narrow that audience. So it's, it's basically saying it needs to include both of these, right? So we could say search engine optimization, and then we could say, uh, you know, demographics. Let's see if there's anything good here. Yeah, so we could also set, um, you know, corporate executives. We could say financial and target based on their spending. Uh, that's probably not going to be too great, though. So let's go to demographics. And we could also do income right there. So we're going to do work again. And let's see if there's anything. Okay, so we can do small businesses right there under office type. That's probably going to be the best bet. So we have fewer than 1,000 people. Uh, it's going to be a pretty small group. We could even probably just kill that right there. Now we have 83,000 people who have small businesses in the Tampa area, right? So it's going to be a pretty um, pretty targeted. I mean, 83,000 is a good sized audience. You could try to narrow it down if you, if, you, uh, if you want to. I mean, play around with this. Don't just run one ad set, run multiple ads. Um, and you can kind of go through here and uh, and find the perfect audience, right? So small businesses in this specific area. So now what we're gonna do is, you know, you have to have, an, in an effort to save time, I'm not gonna run through all of this. I just wanna give you guys the general idea here, all right? I don't wanna cover like complete Facebook advertising. Um, but after you define your audience here, so we're doing Tampa, Florida, 20 to 60, all, uh, we're just targeting small businesses, basically 83,000, uh, budget $5 a day. We're gonna go ahead and skip to the next step. Now we want to use, um, you know, some kind of image, right? Now, obviously, this is pulled from Lander.com, whatever that is. Um, and so, you know, you want to select your Facebook page, select your image right here. By the way, Canva.com, really cool tool that you can use for creating um, Facebook ads. So you can go back to the main screen and uh, you can grab Facebook ads. So we can go create a design. So we have Facebook ad right here at the bottom. So super, super easy. You can come in here and create awesome ads and you can say something like free SEO audit for your website, right? It's going to be really, really simple. You're going to do something, um, nothing complex, right? And so then you can come in your ad copy and say, you know, free, free SEO audit for local businesses in the Tampa area or something, or you could not do it, but you could do more of a generic style ad, just say free SEO audit because you know, you're already targeting small businesses, right? And so the goal is just, again, to send them to your landing page where they fill out this form and you're collecting a lead, right? And you're getting their phone number, you're getting their email, your, their name, whatever you want to collect. But the great thing is that you're highlighting their problem. Again, you're showcasing their problems. You're showing them what's wrong with their site, what can be improved. Improved. This is going to be huge because when you follow up with them, you already have talking points. You already know what their website is, so you can research them before you ever get in touch with them. You know what areas on the report were marked as, you know, done poorly, uh, where they're getting a bad score on their SEO audit. So now you can talk to them and say, yeah, we know exactly how to improve this. We can do this for you. That might even be your tripwire offer is basically, uh, you know, saying for like, you know, a couple hundred dollars or something like that, you'll fix up what's wrong on their report. And then after that, you can upsell them into your, you know, client consulting services or whatever you want to do. The point here is that we're trying to generate leads and we're trying to qualify those leads. So we know who we're targeting on Facebook, small businesses in our area. And then we're getting the exact information that we want with this SEO auditor form. And then we're showcasing, highlighting the problems and they're expecting us to follow up with them. That's why this becomes so powerful. It's much different than just getting an opt in on a landing page. All right. So. This is method number one for this three part series. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, the link for my site auditor is below this video, dripapps.com slash audit. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let us know in the comments below. We'd love to see those. We'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, if you enjoyed this post, please share it. We would much appreciate it. All right, guys, have a good one.